Hey guys, welcome to this new episode of the Grind Never Stops podcast. This is your host DJ Joe and we will follow you with co-host Steve as he will recap week 5 of the New York Rangers and he will also recap week 5 of the struggling New York Knicks. Enjoy the show, and don't forget, gentlemen, uh, to like our videos on YouTube, subscribe, share, and to check us out on all your podcast platforms. You can follow us on Twitter, and if you'd like to cover your own team on our podcast, don't hesitate to contact us on our social media, and we'll be glad to bring you in. But enjoy the episode, and I'm going to pass you. My co-host, Steve. Welcome back to the ice. I'm Steve for Grind Nerd Science Podcast. I'm back with another episode of the New York Rangers recapping week five. So the Rangers are three and one in the last four games with six points this week. If the playoffs start today, they are in sixth place. The dirt in the Metropolitan now if the playoffs start today. Remember, top eight teams make the playoffs. The NHL cares about the point system. A victory equals two points. An overtime loss equals one point. The Rangers need help on the dots. No word for face-offs. The first three games, check ESPN.com for face-offs one. They're basically near even on the dots, the first three games. Then you have the Toronto Maple Leafs. Who don't know what face-off means. I'm talking about my favorite team, the New York Rangers. Severely. Never mind, because they are really bad on the dots. The pet peeve about myself. I hate hockey teams that can't win face out. I hate it with a passion. If you're new to ice hockey, face offs mean it's how we get the puck at the dots when the referee drops the puck. Remember, Face off solves everything. You cut down penalties. Shoot the puck. Because you can't shoot the puck if you actually have the puck. Can't score, right? Pass the puck around. That's called cycling the puck. Etc. Etc. Now remember, never forget the cookie. It's your best friend. When you play EA Sports NHL in general, and yes, even Hockey Ultimate Team, you will face Vision Control Kings, which means you turn your body around and protect the puck, the counter to stick checking. Annoying, right? That's why I said, like the Cookie Monster, when Cookie Monster eats the cookie at Sesame Street, mmm, cookie, good. The whole point about this is the puck, when you possess it, solves everything, even the little things, correct? Before I end this episode, I'll give you some hockey tips. Not many teams do it on the dots. You're allowed to push your opponent on the dots. That's called a tie-up. Happens in EA Sports NHL. Second one. The dangerous part of the ice is at the middle in the offensive zone. That's called the slot. Anyone can shoot there. 
Now, there are four zones in hockey you'll be judged on. The offensive zone. Neutral zone, meaning the middle part of the ice. The defensive zone. And four check. It's how well you defend at the offensive zone. Final tip. You're allowed to do a hand pass, but only at the defensive zone. And this ends the Rangers recap from week five. I'm Seas with Grind Nerd Sox Podcast, and I'll see you next time. The professor is out. Boot fans. I'm Steve from Grind Nerd Sox Podcast. In this episode, I'm going to talk to you about the next recap of week five from the Grind Nerd Sox Podcast. The Knicks and Tom Thibodeau, they're not themselves. Very simple. No ball movement. Taking bad shots. Not communicating on defense. Careless turnovers. Etc. Etc. They're just not the same after losing to the Hawks after the first round from last year. With or without Mitchell Robinson, regardless of the situation. Now remember, Mitchell Robinson didn't play in the first round last season in the playoffs against the Lance Hawks due to injury because he's injury prone last year. It's very simple. They're not having fun as a team right now. They're too passive. They worry about losing this year. Best advice to the Knicks and yes, you Tom too. You're the head coach of the Knicks. Be yourself. It's basketball. Have some fun out there. You have talent everywhere. The team and Tom Thibodeau. If you work with next management, you need size. Because Senator Mitchell Robinson is seven foot tall. He can grab boards and block shots. He's seven foot tall. The reason why I mentioned about this is the tall guy behind Mitchell Robinson is 6 foot 10. They're going to get crushed on rebounding the ball. That's the Knicks. Get to know myself. My pet B basketball roster for a team is small ball. Because I do not like getting crushed on the boards. And yes, I do consider wingspan to go along with size as well, to contest shots, to make it very difficult. Yes, you Knicks, the entire team. Yes, you Tom Thibodeau, you're the head coach of New York Knicks. Being passive won't get you anywhere. And communicate on both ends, offense, defense. Take good shots. Share the sugar. Etc. Etc. Be yourself. You you would have a chance to get out to get out of the first round. When the Knicks are passive, like they get scared all the time, and yes, even Tom Thibodeau, this best explains why their one dream lasts for games. Before in this episode, I'll give you basketball tips. The first thing I talk to you is about the on-ball screen. It's like a screen and row near the ball handler. Just put your two hands down, and then you set a screen. That's called a screen. Now, watch the defender. When the defender touches the player that sets the screen, the screen's activated. 
we go to the basket or just drop back for three point shot. Just note it's a screen and roll near the ball handler. That's called the on ball screen. Now, the off ball screen. The off ball screen is a screen away from the ball handler. That's called the off ball screen. And now, the pin down screen. You set a screen, set at the horizontal corner. This is a off ball screen. To set up a jump shot. A shooter goes around the screen. Remember, this is a off ball screen. To set up a jump shot. Let's say to end this, but the pin down screen, that's called a pin down screen. Now, if you add one more pin down screen, that's called a staggered screen. A staggered screen is also a off ball screen. Thanks for tuning in, basketball fans. I'm Steve for Grind Nerd Starts Podcast. Enjoy Thanksgiving, Hoops fans. And I'll see you in the next episode. Signing out, folks. The professor's out.